Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're continuing our adventure in Undertale, so let's get into it. If you want to see the previous videos in the series, click the card up here, and subscribe if you like what I'm doing. So first up, we got into a lot of different battles with the robot on his different shows. We were on his cooking show, we were on the news one time, we even partook in one of his plays. I think this was Romeo and Juliet. We also had this whole bomb defusing thing, like, this was kind of insane. In between all that, we got into another fight with a spider because we didn't buy any of her baked goods. And for the first time ever, I need to credit this game with its callbacks. I mean, even just little things like this puzzle that was explained a whole long time ago, but actually having to do it this time is just incredible. Then of course we had to fight the robot, who looks very different now, and just battle him until the ratings are super incredible. Did this through different poses and boasting. It was honestly a pretty unique idea, but the battle was also super hard. But eventually we were able to dramatically pose and boost the ratings up to 10,000, which made him stop fighting us. After that we reached a home that looked super familiar, and man, this one, it kind of hurts a little bit because of the last time we were at a home that looked like this. And as we were walking around, there were monsters relaying to us the whole history of why things are the way they are. As we progressed to the king, they told us about how his boy had died, he went to the humans who attacked him, and from then he just wanted to give all of the monsters hope. So they decided to kill the humans that came through so that they could finally leave this place. When we arrived at the king, he seemed a little sorrowful about what was going to happen, but despite that he took us to the barrier and decided to kill us to get the last soul he needed. He wasn't happy about it but there was no chance for mercy this time, so unfortunately, we just had to take him out. While defeating him, he admitted that yes, his plan was to destroy all the humans to use their souls to break the barrier, but then his wife became disgusted with it. So, she left him. And he didn't really want to hurt anyone, he just wanted to give the monsters hope. But now, all he cares about is going back to his old life and being with his wife. So, we showed him some mercy. He was pretty shocked by this, and even offered him and Toriel to take care of us. But unfortunately, someone took him out. It was this flower who we met the whole time. He took control of the six souls, and a little bit of a grotesque warning, you might want to close your eyes for like 20 to 30 seconds. But anyway, the flower like closed our game, which sucks, and then this disgusting monster decided to fight us. This resulted, of course, in a lot of dying, which, if you don't know, when you got game over at this point, it would just flat out close your game. But we were eventually able to call out to the six souls, and slowly, one by one, not only did they all stop fighting us, but they all helped us. And then eventually, once again, after a lot of deaths, we were able to finally defeat him. We showed the flower mercy, and he couldn't believe what he was seeing. So, he just ran away. At this point, the credits rolled and I was hoping that there was going to be an epilogue. And there was. Sans told us that the Queen returned and was ruling over the underground and was doing her best to protect monsters and people too. But Flowey thought that this was a bad ending and that we deserved something better. So, we'll play that ending next time on stream. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and I hope you have a fantastic day.